President Biden has declared May as Jewish American Heritage Month and called for it to be marked with appropriate programs, activities, and ceremonies. He also addressed concerns over rising Jew hatred and spoke about a new strategy to combat anti-Semitism online and offline, including in schools and on campuses. Our senior U.S. correspondent Mike Wagenheim spoke with Shelley Greenspan, who in her role as a policy advisor for partnerships and global engagement for the National Security Council, serves as the White House's liaison to the American Jewish community. Happy to be joined by the White House liaison to the American Jewish community, Shelley Greenspan. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us here on Jewish World Weekly. This is Jewish American Heritage Month. I know the White House has some plans. Why don't you walk us through what's in store for us here out of Washington this month? For generations, the story of the Jewish people, which is one of resilience, faith, and, and hope in the face of adversity, has really been woven into the fabric of American history, I mean, really since the beginning. And we are really leaning into that celebration and just so excited to be serving in this role and celebrating Jewish American History Month with all of you. I know one of the big things that the White House and especially Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff has been working on over the last year or so is putting together a plan to combat anti-Semitism. And domestic policy advisor Susan Rice, who announced that she's leaving at the end of the month, says she's going to get an anti-Semitism plan out before her departure. That only leaves us here with a few weeks. What's the status of this? And can you give us any update on where the plan stands right now and what we can expect upon the, the, the reveal? The Biden-Harris administration is deeply committed to this work. Um, the rise of anti-Semitism in, in this country is truly, it's shocking, it's dangerous. Um, the rhetoric that we've been hearing from celebrities and athletes, um, politicians really using their influential platforms um, to spew anti-Semitic rhetoric is really, really dangerous. Um, even going back to 2017 and the rally in Charlottesville, I mean, that's what caused and that's what inspired President Biden to run for president in the first place. So back in December, he announced um, that the entire government will be focused on creating a national strategy to combat anti-Semitism. And we've been working on it day in and day out. Um, the strategy will focus on actions we can all take, not just the government, to raise awareness, to prevent anti-Semitism. And you know, to develop this strategy, we have held listening sessions with thousands of stakeholders from across the country to really get their input. I gotta ask you though, Secretary of State Tony Blinken, upon taking office early in the Biden administration, said that this administration would embrace the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of anti-Semitism. We haven't seen that statement though, put into practice yet by this administration on an official basis. Is that gonna be a part of this plan? I don't wanna get ahead of what will or won't be in this strategy. Um, you know, once it is released, um, I'm sure you will have some more context as to where that will land. You know, we've also been speaking to our counterparts um, really ac across the world um, to get a sense of what they have folded into their own national strategies to combat anti-Semitism. Of course, the definition has come up and we've been listening to stakeholders um, and really putting a lot of attention um, to make sure that this plan is really reflective of where we are as a country. You've been on the job now in this particular role as liaison to the American Jewish community for what, about 10 months now, coming up with a year. What have some of the, the, the lessons, some of the experiences that you've had so far that, that have kind of uh, moved you here, especially as we talk about Jewish American Heritage Month? I will say, you know, we've had a lot of firsts since I started. Um, Back in September, we hosted the first ever Jewish New Year Rosh Hashanah reception. Right after that, we had the first ever Sukkot celebration at the Blair House, which is across the street from the White House. We had that Sukkot celebration um, with ambassadors from Muslim majority countries, and it was a really moving and meaningful experience. Um, just, I think it was two months ago, we had the first ever Jewish Women's Forum, where Jewish women from across the country came to the White House um, to hear from policymakers, um, the second gentleman, Ambassador Deborah Lipstadt and Ann Neuberger. I also will say, you know, the White House Hanukkah party was such a thrill and it's a staple. It's almost like the Super Bowl sometimes here in DC. And this year we unveiled the first ever White House Hanukkah menorah. The menorah itself was built from wood from the White House from many, many years ago. And that just goes to show you the the interconnectedness between the American Jewish community and the story of America, how we share our values and we are so much a part of the story. The American Jewish base has always been heavily democratic, but studies show there is a growing Republican Jewish base. How have you been able to kind of depoliticize 
any Jewish issues that have, have come up, maintain kind of a, a neutral ground, even coming from a Democratic administration. Has that been challenging at all? No, I mean, I work with American Jews across the aisle. Um, you know, I don't only work with Jews who identify as Democrats or Jews who identify as Republicans. Um, to me, it makes no difference. Um, I represent and work with Jews from across the spectrum. And it's actually one of my favorite parts about the job because it's reflective of the true Jewish community. If you're only speaking to one aspect of the community, you're not doing your job well. And I'm not um, representing the full spectrum of the Jewish community to the president. Shelley Greenspan, the White House liaison to the American Jewish community, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. And hopefully we'll cross paths again soon. Happy American Jewish Heritage Month.